Hello friends, this is Sagar More from sagarmore.in and today in this video, I am going to explain you what is CSS, what are different types of CSS and how to apply a CSS to your web page. So what does it mean by CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Cascading Style Sheet is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of document written in markup language such as HTML. CSS is a rule-based language that applies styling to your HTML element. You can write CSS rules in elements and modify properties of those elements such as color, background color, width, border thickness, font, size, etc. CSS helps developers to create visually engaging web pages and user interfaces for web applications. CSS has a simple syntax and uses a number of English keywords to specify the names of various style sheet properties. CSS has some variations or versions like CSS1, CSS2, CSS2.1 and now the in recent days we are using CSS3. CSS3 is the latest version in which some additional features and properties are introduced. There are three types of CSS. The first one is inline CSS. An inline CSS is used to apply a unique style to a single HTML element. An inline CSS uses the style attribute of an HTML element. The second type is internal style sheet, which is also called as embedded CSS. An internal style sheet is a section of a HTML page that contains style definition. Internal style sheets are defined by using style tag within the head area of the document. And the third type is external CSS. An external style sheet is a file containing only CSS syntax. The style information is not explicitly tied directly to the document's element. So, selector syntax is used to specify what styles attach to which portion of the document tree. So, these are the types of CSS. So, I have a basic.html created in my directory. So, I will open it with Notepad++. So, this is the structure that we are going to format now. So, as you can see here, heading, paragraph, anchor tag and image tag is enclosed in body structure. So, there are three types of CSS. The first one is inline CSS. So inline CSS is a type of CSS which we apply to the element. So take an example of this heading element. So with the help of inline CSS, we can actually apply CSS to an element directly without using the style tag. So here is the example. So if I want to apply a background color to heading tag, then with the help of internal CSS, I will write a code like this. So first of all, you should write style, then is equal to in double quotes the property name in this case i want to apply a background color so it will be background color colon and the value of the property so in this case suppose i want to apply a pink color to this heading tag so there are many ways to do this we can write rgb color code we can write hexadecimal color code or we can write the color name itself so let me write the color name so let me save this and run in Chrome. So as you can see here, the pink color got applied here. So likewise, if I want to align text to the center, so this is the text which is heading one. So I have to write text align. Text align is a property which aligns the text. So there are values like left, right and center. So here in this case, I want to align it to the center. So yes, this heading got aligned center. Let's go back and do some other stuff. So the default text color is the black. So suppose if I want to apply a green color to the text, I will write color. Color is the property which sets the color of the text. Colon. The value would be color name, RGB values or hexadecimal code. Here I am writing the color name, green, semicolon and let's check the output. Yeah, so here is green color got applied. So this was the example of inline CSS. So the second type is internal CSS. 
so by default inline css has more priority above internal css or external css so let's check the internal css example also so if you want to apply internal css you should apply internal css in the head section with the help of style tag you should close the style tag so there are some standards that we need to follow while writing internal css like we should write type so type will be text slash css we should also write relation so relation is style sheet if you don't write these then also it will not give you any error because the browser is smart enough to understand the missing code and correct it itself so let's go ahead and write some css so take an example of this body tag so if i want to apply background color to this body then i will write body which is the tag name then background color and whichever the color name that you want to apply so in this case if i wanted to apply sky blue color if i refresh the page then it will show you sky blue color see the sky blue color got applied here let me show you one example of css priorities so as i said before the inline css will have more priority above internal or external css so as you can see here the color is green of the first heading other heading tag has black color so what i'm going to do here i will write h1 and the color name so if i write color name as red so what do you think will it change the color of this heading one text or is it going to keep the green color which is applied here so it will not apply red color to this heading tag because inline style sheet has more priority above internal or external css so let me show you this see still it is in green so it has not changed to red color but there is a trick with which you can actually apply the red color even if the green color is given in inline style sheet so to do this we have to use the keyword important important is the keyword which overrides the default property values and force the css to apply whichever value is given before the important keyword so in this case the red color will get applied now because the important keyword is written let me show you this see now the red color has applied okay so this was the example of internal css there is another css which is called as external css external css presents in external file for that we need to first create external css so let me create a blank document first okay here we don't need to write style tag because this file itself tells the browser that it is external css with its extension which is .css so let's go ahead and save this file so here i would like to give it a name as style dot css it should not be a text file okay so the extension itself saying that it is a css file so we need not to write style tag again but i have not included this style dot css into this web page to do so we have to write link tag link is the tag to include external css into your web page again the type of link which is text slash css again the relation relation is style sheet and the hypertext reference attribute so this sets the path of our css file in our case it is in root directory so i will write style dot css okay I have to write some CSS in this external CSS file to make sure whether the file got included in our web page or not. So I will write body tag again. 
एंड बैकग्राउंड कलर सो लेट्स राइट ब्राउन कलर सो फॉर नाउ द स्काई ब्लू कलर इज ऑल्सो गिवन इन द बॉडी टाइप सो विच कलर विल गेट अप्लाइड इन दिस सिचुएशन द इंटरनल सी एस एस कलर विल गेट अप्लाइड बिकॉज इंटरनल सी एस एस हैज मोर प्रायोरिटी ओवर एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस लेट मी सेव दिस so sky blue color is the default which we have given in internal css so it will not change now as i said before we can use important keyword also to override the default values so here i have written important keyword and let me save and run this so brown color got applied actually it doesn't look good so let me change it to gray let me run this so this was the example to show you css priority and how external css works so i don't require this code now so let's go ahead and and write some other css so take an example of this paragraph tags so by default paragraph has no text decoration and i am going to write a text decoration property for paragraph tags so for that i need to write p tag then curly braces open and close in between them then i should write text decoration and underline is the property there are many properties but let me show you this example so now the paragraph tag has got underlined so it means that you can give as much as a property that you want to apply to the particular element and this is how external css internal css and inline css works so friends make sure that you watch my other tutorials also so if you like this video click on like button and share it with your friends if you are new to my channel then click on subscribe button to get latest updates of upcoming videos thank you for watching stay tuned be technical